Yo! Welcome back to the Citadel of Nanam. Welcome back, Nanams, you little goofballs. What have you been up to, huh? Hello, hello. Um, it's been a while. Uh, we are gonna play some Daisy today. But, uh, check it out. We got a new little, uh, ambiance going on thanks to this software called Shoost. Hold on. Uh, before it was a lot plain, you know, like our colors were very muted, just a little white, like, you know, material <laughs> was used to build our little pillars and our spaceship, but it's, uh, it's a lot brighter now, you know, because space gets kind of dark. And, um... It's good to have some good lighting, all right? Brighten things up. Get this gloomy atmosphere out of here. That's what we want to do. So that's, um... This is going to be our Zatsu kind of room from now on. Um, we're not going to keep this when we're in our uh, like gaming mode or gaming session. We'll go to a completely different screen. A more basic one with just the game. And I guess I'm just there in the corner somewhere playing the game. But yeah. So like as usual... We have our earth looking round and beautiful. You don't see the whole thing, but it's there. And our Nanam back there looking out into the depths of the void. He's still there too, looking great as usual. All right. You know, today is funny. It's weird. I I actually went out today. <laughs> I, I usually cook my own food for like lunch, you know, but... I, um, I felt lazy, so I went out to grab some McDonald's, but my car, it, uh, it was having trouble starting up because it hasn't moved in so long. The battery was kind of drained out, you know, because if, if cars, you know, cars usually recharge themselves with their alternators or whatever when they're driving around or when the engine's on. Um, but my car, it's just been sitting for so long that it sputtered quite a bit. I had to struggle to get that thing to life. But um, it should be good now because I actually rolled it around for once. And then I grabbed myself a, Mac, a Big Mac and um, a Big Mac combo. Usually, you know, I like to get myself like double cheeseburgers, you know, because they're cheaper. But I just felt like having a Big Mac today. I don't know why. But I noticed... It's been a while since I've had McDonald's. It costed me about 11 bucks for a large combo. You know, with a large Coke, large fries, and a Big Mac. 11 bucks! I feel like it was only yesterday when it was like 7 to 8 bucks, you know, before COVID. But ever since COVID... Ever since COVID... Uh, <laughs> things just went to shit. All the, all, the, all the fast food joints just went downhill. You know, I used to go out and... Um, buy buy you know mcdonald's or like some kind of late night foods you know at 3 a.m 2 a.m uh going to the 24 7 drive throughs but even now like after it's been a while since covid but you know 24 hour restaurants or fast food places they're they're gone now they don't they don't open 24 hours anymore if you if you search out like the business hours on google um they still you know it still says they're 24 hours and I get tricked by those things all the time. Like I've tried going to McDonald's that said they're 24 hours, like a Subway and other some like couple fast food joints. The only restaurant that is still 24 hours for me is like this Mexican restaurant where they have this great, delicious um, carne asada fries. Um, but yeah, those things are getting expensive too because they used to be like five, seven bucks, but they're like 15 bucks now. But to be fair, like the amount of food you get from that place is ridiculous. Like the carne asada fries is enough to feed two people. And still, you know, you'd, you'd be super full after eating it. Like before, I used to get it and eat it like twice, you know, split it to two meals. But um, now it's just... Ah. <laughs> Everything's just getting more expensive, man. What's going on? All right, we're going to play some Daisy. Let's hop in. Uh... I, I did decide to stream today at 5 p.m. in my time. And it's very unusual for me to stream at this hour. So um, I'm, I'm just testing it out still. Always testing things out. You know, still testing my audio filters and everything. I don't know if it sounds good right now. I'm hoping it does. Um, I did notice for some reason lately my S sounds 
um, like um, when I when I pronounce the S sound, like snake, slither, that it, it peaks. It's so loud. The S. S <laughs> All right. Let's see uh, if Daisy is working. Okay. So I haven't played this game in a long time. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Let's see how it plays out. All right. So it's a very simple. Ooh, yeah. Oh, uh, my game's not even captured. Hold on. Ah, uh, Daisy. There we go. It's full screen. We can see everything. It should be fine. Um. Can you see everything? Okay. I think I should move myself to the left because at least you you'd rather see my health bar than. Wait, actually, maybe I could just be here. Here's fine. You can see my stamina and my health and all that gadget gizmo. All right. So we're starting off at night. We're playing on uh, Chernaris. This is the original Daisy map. But I am I think there's a lot of new changes. Like the sky definitely... The sky is definitely different. It looks a lot more like a sky. Because before it was just like this plain... Weird looking, you know, sky sky dome, sky box. I don't know what they're called. But we have, we can kind of see the Milky Way now. I like it. I like that we're starting off at night. And like I said, I've been playing a lot of GTA. So my controls are very used to like the GTA RP. Like I'm, I want to open tab. I want to open my inventory space, but I keep pressing K. To open my inventory. Wait. Second. Okay. Pressing K. Tab. It's tab. Do I need to find anything? Uh, we have a map that we can take a look at. <laughs> where are we? Okay, let's try to find out where we are first. It's been so long since I've actually played like... This map in particular, every time I play Daisy, I, I played the mouse, you know, the cold map. Okay, Berezino. This is Russian. Uh, Berezino, I'm guessing. Okay, stick. I don't even remember where Berezino is. Berezino is right there on the coast. So we are on the east side. I guess we could loot it up. I don't exactly. We're in the big Berezino city. What? We'll just let let the wind decide. We don't have any plans. We don't have any uh, destinations, objectives. We're just playing Daisy the way it should be played, you know, with no plans, no goals, just running around, looting, gearing up. Maybe we'll meet a friend. Maybe we'll meet some enemies. I want to find a gun, though. I do want to at least defend myself. And also, I do need to scope out how people are playing this game these days. Because Daisy, you know, it's an old game. And a lot of Daisy veterans just play the game and, um, you know, they're, they're done with the whole adventure stuff. You know, they just play it so that they can shoot. Even though there are many games out there where, you know, shooting is the primary kind of goal of the gameplay. Primary gameplay, I should say. Food. Daisy though is more of like a social experiment kind of game, you know? So we're gonna be diplomatic at first. But if people just keep killing us on first sight, then we have no choice but to go aggressive, you know? Alright, 20 ag I don't think um insulation really matters. I don't think insulation matters in this uh in this map, because it's not that cold. We're not gonna freeze to death, we're not gonna get frostbite. There's no punishment for being too cold. I think they might have changed it. Because they're always adding new things to this game. And I know they added new items as well, like new backpacks. I don't know the details though. It's been a while. Shoes. Alright, I don't even I don't even remember what the meta is for the shoes now. Like, do you get boots or 
I heard somebody. Hello? Is that a zombie? Oh. Oh, come on. Bring it on. I beat your ass. This map. The cheese. Also, I've been playing a lot of the the um Shishingo lately. I've been I've been trying to brush up my Japanese and study. I haven't really looked at the backside of the photographs yet. The ones that show you like all the different usage or related kind of usage uses for the the picture that we take in Shishingo. So maybe we'll do that one day. But I'm all shishigoed out. I took all the pictures that you possibly can. Okay, I need to eat something. I took all the pictures that we possibly can in Shishingo. And, um... Got some gold stars. My Japanese has been improving. Map is cheese. <laughs> oh, good. And I've been watching Freyren as well. I actually binged Freyren like crazy the other day. And I finished it. Now I'm sad. Because, you know, you know the feeling you get when after you watch anime, you, you watch a really good show, and you finish it, and like, it feels like a part of your life has ended. <laughs> a part of you died with the show. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a Freyren, like, season 2 course just because how good the show was like it's going to be a season two but until then what am i gonna do <laughs> i can relate to free and so much because you know she's like a thousand years old what am i fifty thousand i have this weird attachment to characters that are super old this is um i'm drawn to them like CC from Code Gas. Who else was there? CC. Oi. You got any guns, yo? Bullets? Or anything? CC. V then. Right now, those two are the only two that pop up to my to my mind. This is a good character, though. I like her. Like the flashback you get, or um, they show you when CC was running around the trenches of World War Two. For some reason, you know, I feel that. <laughs> There's this um loneliness that comes with being so long lived. You know, and everyone around you dies. All your loved ones and friends, they die. I know how that feels, you know? <laughs> Oi! And you're gonna feel it in this game as well. When we meet a friend. Oh my goodness, that's human meat. When we meet a friend, we're gonna be traveling together. And it's gonna feel like we've known them since the beginning. And when they die, feel that sorrow of loss. That's the only... This is the only game that can actually give you that kind of stuff, you know? That feel of loss and despair and impending doom. Alright, which way is north? I need to find a compass. I need, I need a lot of things. Okay, we need to find a gun or a weapon. But I think Chernaris, the most important thing is to find a source of self-sustaining kind of food like rope. We need to find rope. We need to find... We need bones? Rope? And what else? A knife? Once we get those going, we can... Oh, bullets. We can go out towards the middle of this uh, the island or whatever this um, place is. So we can fish for food and we won't starve to death. How many people are on the server right now? 
you think there's a lot because it's prime time right now. The Gorky. The Gorky. Peanuts. I still remember my first playthrough of this game, you know, in my channel. We actually ran into so many people in the spawn towns. And this old guy as well. It was pretty cool. I think his name was Tom Cruise or something. And we went on like a 20 minute journey together. I still remember it. And he was a character and a half. I'm gonna check real quick how many people are in the server actually right now. Maybe I should have just played the mouse. Because I'm so much more familiar with that map instead. Okay. Ooh. What? Open! Uh. Uh. Alright, we just want to survive at this point. I'm not finding anything. Found some food. Those chips are not gonna sustain us for long. Oh my. Yeah. I remember now why I don't stream at this time because it's so hot. I don't even want to wear this cap because it's so hot in real life. It's so hot in real life right now, man. It's too hot, man. <laughs> Zombies. Okay, I, okay, he has a backpack. Actually, I need that. Come on. Uh. Oh, he dodged it. Now we are Inu style. Let's go. All right. Knife as well. That's perfect. I think we might be able to leave now, right? But we still need rope. All right. We need to cut up a few things. And we'll get rope. But before that, okay. I keep pressing K to open my inventory. I'm gonna eat this stuff real quick. And um, find rope. We'll cut up some uh, T-shirts, some pants. Get ourselves some rags, put them together to make rope. Don't need to do something about bones. Wait, what is that? Is that deer? Is that deer that I hear in the distance? Is that a boar? Whatever the case, if we can kill it, we can get bones. Bones! Eat all of this stuff. Maybe I should just murder somebody <laughs> and take their stuff. The easy way to progress. There. It's too hot. Hold on, I need to drink my iced coffee one second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that refreshed me up a little bit. Let's go. Nothing. And if only I knew which way was north, which way was, was west. With. I was running around aimlessly at this point. Okay, working boots. I might need those. Actually, I'll just keep my athletic boots. Oh, that's right. Um, when we're cold and we shiver, our food and water 
goes down faster, I think. That, but it's probably not a problem. His food is so abundant in this server. Oh. <laughs> uh. Is that the North Star? Wait, can I... Hell? Like, can I navigate via Constellation or the Cosmos? Maybe? Not seeing anybody. Oh, okay. This thing's pretty big. Once we find a gas stove, we don't have to worry about cooking with the fire. We just need to get some gas canisters and we Gucci. Frying pan. <laughs> pot. I have a good feeling we're gonna get something in this uh, supermarket, though. If not, just some, grab some can of food. Cans of food. Also, we do need to cut up these things. The thing about like cutting clothes is that, oh, that sound, whoa, her knife might get damaged. I mean, it will get damaged quite a bit, but we need rope. We need rope more than a knife. If anything, we could, oh, if anything, we could craft um, knives with bones later. But we still do need one knife to cut up the animal in the first place. Oh, I'm losing connection. Ah! Hello? I'm lagging! <laughs> Disconnect right now. I might disconnect right now. Hello? Is my connection dead? Should be fine. Should be fine. Let's just keep looting all the houses. Find some more knives. Maybe I'll wear that helmet. It might, it might protect us from zombies. Ooh. Okay, this year might give us a pistol or something. Nice. A Glock. We don't have a magazine for it, though. Oh. Alright. Craft rags. I'm sick! Sick! It's a sickness icon. Okay. <laughs> We do need to find um, a magazine for this Glock, I think. It has one bullet inside, no mag. One bullet's all we need. One bullet and a dream. Oh, what's this? Order? Okay, this is like a hunting rifle that's for like small game, like you know. If you're an, if you're an American, you will know about 22 calibers, probably, maybe. <laughs> 22 calibers are for hunting squirrels and rabbits. They're very small baby bullets. Oh. Oh. All right, I think that's where I want to head to. Gunshots. They might be a friend. Maybe. Man, it sucks that we have only one bullet for each of our guns. The 22, if it's not a headshot, it's not going to really do anything. People are going to see... Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. People are going to see the rifle on our backs. And like, you know, they might see it as a threat. They might think it's like a shotgun or like an actual rifle. Like a big boy gun. 
that's something that we have to be concerned with because if you don't have any weapons, right? People are not gonna be, you know, not gonna be worried. They're not gonna see you as a threat. Dude, I cut up uh, some rags earlier, right? And I think I left it. I think it's in the. Wait, it's in the fire, the, the the police station, I think. Loads that we can cut up, actually. No, not here. Pretty sure I didn't pick up the the rags here. <laughs> yeah, there. There you go. So that's right. All right. We just need three more rags, and we can combine those things into rope, and we should be fine. Fishing rod. Ah, yeah. Hey, welcome back. What's good? What's up? <laughs> How have you been? How have you been? How have you been? Did you eat anything good lately? <laughs> I had myself McDonald's today. And I was watching a lot of YouTube. And, um... I was watching a lot of, like, Korean content. Where people prank each other, you know? And um, I saw these guys in Korea eating McDonald's, and it just, I don't know why, it just looks so good. Every time you see people eating stuff on, uh, you know, in video, it just looks so much better than it actually is. It's just McDonald's, but it looks so delicious. Hey, long time no see. Yo, Miguel, what's good? What's good? <laughs> what's up? Isn't it true, though? Like, that's probably why mukbang is such a popular content, like a form of content. It became a genre of its own. Because people just like to watch other people eat food. <laughs> and I just realized lately that McDonald's, even, even, you know, they're not, they're not cheap anymore. I mean, it's still cheap relatively compared to other restaurants, but, you know, it's not like, ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's because my income hasn't really increased a lot along with the inflation of the states. Ah! Oh, ow! I feel that. Everything's getting more expensive. I need to make more money. <laughs> yeah, I do need that stuff right here. Alcoholic tinctures. Yeah. I haven't I haven't met a single person yet. Not a single soul. It is a big map though. This this map is gigantic. Ah oh, potato! Oh, 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 oh potato! <laughs> a single person. I did hear gunshots though off in the distance. So there is hostility going on. Whether it's hostility towards animals, to other players. <laughs> Man, we're not finding anything good either. Then again, this place is... Uh... I want that. It's a fresh spawn area. I look like the freshest spawn. <laughs> I just spawned in, you guys. I'm not a threat. I might have this border on my back, but it's not a big gun. It's like, it's, it's basically a BB gun, you know? Okay, I need to cut this up. Losing connection. What's going on? Thought I heard something there. Like footsteps, maybe? Maybe not. Hello? Hello? 
Yo, what's up? Yo, is that you? Yeah, what's up? Some other. Oh, oh some shit. Other, some other dude over here. Come yo, what's up? You guys chill? Yo, what's up, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah chill. Are you? Yeah, I'm, uh, I just spawned in. I'm just uh, chilling just around. Up. You know, I do have a gun, but it's a sporter. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not a threat. <laughs> oh, I'm losing connection, you guys. I'm losing connection. We all just right. met a person too. That's oh, right. I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of lagging right I now. I trust you already. Oh, I yeah, love you guys all already. <laughs> so where are you guys headed? Oh my God, uh, is that where we're those, headed? Let's go towards the <laughs> shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yo, you guys yeah, have right a gun. There. You guys have a gun. No, no. Yeah, yeah, we got, we, Yo, I, we got need, pistols. I do have one pistol, but it's not, you know, I don't have a mag for it. Like, what, you know. what pistol do you have? What pistol? It's a, it's a Glock. It, it doesn't have a mag though, man. Oh, take sorry, this, take this, take this, take this. Oh shoot, you got, you got something for me? The mag right there. Just, yeah, mag right there. Oh take shit, it. man. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go. Let's run it. Yo, yo, wait, wait, wait. Yo, guy, uh, I think you need a gun too. At least take this, <laughs> take this sporter, man. I have, I have I have a Glock. It has, it has one yeah, bullet in it. He has a. He has one bullet. All right. If these guys shoot me in the back of my head, I'm gonna be so sad. I right, so like, uh, have you guys um been uh, in this uh, <laughs> world for long? You know, in DayZ, like you know, can you can you gauge the distance of a gunshot based on how loud it is? Oh mm. no, no. I just, I think that was like 200, no, not sure, probably like 100 meters away, but it wasn't that far, but. That sounded pretty close to me. I think those are the same, ah, oh, man, I keep, I keep losing connection. No! <laughs> Imagine we chill and then he shoots you. Yeah, that happens all the time in DayZ. My bad, my bad. Here you go. I think the gunshot that we heard is the same guy that I heard earlier, but then, um, I heard like a rapid fire, like um, a couple shots in succession earlier. So maybe it's a friend of his, uh -oh. maybe it's a couple different guys. You We're guys didn't hear it earlier? It was like 20 minutes ago? No, I just, I just logged in right now. All right, all right. I'm gonna be their meat shield. If anything, I'll be the meat shield for you guys, all right? Since you guys seem like you guys are already right, kind of established buddies, I need to earn my place in your group, right? <laughs> right, but don't, 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 don't rush stupidly, you know. Still of course, to man. I, I, I'm a, I'm a safe guy. I, I play safe. <laughs> I, 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 uh, I, I look both ways before I cross the streets and everything too, you know. <laughs> I drive right, underneath the speed limit. It's all good. Man, it's hot! I am lagging quite a bit though. Oh, look, that zombie up ahead. Oh, yeah. so much GTA lately. Oh wait, I have bullets for this thing too. Realized I had some 9 mil bullets. I'm good to go. Alright, make it count. Make it count, bro. Alright, there might be an enemy nearby. I mean, there is an enemy nearby. We did hear gunshots. I'm gonna check out the PD. Maybe they're in there. Alright, be right behind you. <laughs> I think these guys might be on Discord, seeing how they're splitting up like this. Because normally, it'd be pretty hard to find each other once you. There's, there's his friend. I'm in the second floor, okay? No. 
I need to yeah. eat some stuff right now. I need to eat right now. I'm starving. Starving to death right now. Oh. Ah, potato. You guys up there? Yeah, I'm still in the yeah, second yeah, floor right now. I'm just uh, scouting around. Oh, there's a guy. There's a guy over here. Outside, outside. Yo. Yo, what's up? Right here, follow me, guys. Follow me. Right there. Right here. Follow me. Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's armed. Oh my god. No, don't, shoot. don't 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 shoot. Okay, okay, okay. Put your gun. Put your gun away. Put your gun away. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Wait, wait, don't, don't end them, don't end them. I'll tie this. <laughs> I got How dare you. <laughs> I got Yo, we just wanted to be friends, oh, man. Be friends. <laughs> 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 hey, were you shooting earlier? Get Do you have there. a friend around? Get in there. <laughs> get, get in there. Don't try to break free. Stop, there. stop moving, guy. Yeah, stop. get in there. You don't know what kind of situation you you're in right now. Fucker. Kill me more. <laughs> nah, we're uh, gonna make him suffer. We're gonna uh, make him suffer. You need to suffer, my friend. Uh, you yeah. you shot at us, then uh, you know there you gotta be punished for it. <laughs> so where's your friend, huh? We know you're not alone. Yeah, yeah. Yo, stop, stop it, stop struggling. <coughs> you're gonna die. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you're gonna die. Come on. <laughs> wow, you just dodged both of my shots. <laughs> Dead now. <laughs> did, you, did you see him? He just he just had dodged my shots, man. <laughs> I swear he dodged it. He's so good. All right, loot him up, boys. Loot him up. Oh, you. I'm guessing his best is damaged. Do you have any food? He had me. He had me. He had me. Over here. Oh. Oh. Yes, over here. Keep the meat. Thank you, sir. Oh, he had the whole cooking pot set as well? Yeah, uh, yeah, I grabbed it. It's in my bag. Nice, nice. <laughs> All right, you guys. Target eliminated. <laughs> It's our next objective. Oh my god, he scared me. I was about to blast. Oh my bad. We need to find him an armband. You're right. Oh yeah, huh? Yeah. We need yeah, to yeah. find you an armband. You know, we could always make white armbands with rags. If you guys want. We got a couple oh, yeah, rags. Can we? Can we can. Yeah, we could do that. We could. Yeah, I bet. I don't remember. I think we need six now. I have three of them. Okay. <laughs> And I'm making some right now, I think. Oh, yeah. Looks like I have a diaper on my arm right now. <laughs> I'll make you guys some too. Did anyone drop a pistol here? It's jammed. Did I just hear a gunshot? Yeah. That's our next location, boys. Next right, target. Yo, there's your armband right there. Oh, those are hand wrapping somewhere. One sec. <laughs> got it. I got it. Yeah, you left it. one out. Or oh, oh, I took someone's armband. Was that yours, bro? Yeah, it might have been mine. I can make another one. There, take this one back. Um. There. There you go. There's a extra armband. Coming right up. Just much. <laughs> Nervous eating right now. I'm, I'm still kind of like sus with these guys, you know? I right, appreciate it. All right, let's do it. All right, let's roll. Let's... Oh my god. Oh Who my the fuck god. Are you? What, what's going on, my guy? I don't know. I just got here. Oh shit. I, I got oh, scared. God damn. 
You know? Poor, <laughs> poor guy, he had nothing. <laughs> kind of wanted his axe, you know. All right. So what's the code if we do meet somebody if he's friendly? You want you want to let him join us or cuz usually, you know, three people is kind of a crowd as well, you know. We get Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah, we we just, uh, yeah, just shoot up just just bandits. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, we can't be yeah, friendly. You can't be too bandits, friendly yeah. because that's how you die, yeah. you know. We're robbing everybody. And also we do yeah, need yeah. we do need a couple of uh, bones and, you know, rope and whatnot. It's all for the cause, all right? Let me cut him up. <laughs> Y'all, you guys have guns though, right? Actually, I just used oh, my last yeah, bullet man. on this guy. You should be fine though. You got okay, yourself a nice sum. Let's scout. Here, man. Here. I got you. What? Take that. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Take it. It's got like two bullets Shit. though. Alright, alright. That works. Appreciate mm -hmm. it, my guy. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Oh, and you still have that pistol, right? Um, yeah, I still have it. The one I gave you? Yo, what's your name, man? I'm Sam, by the way. Uh, what should my name be? I'm Brian. <laughs> I'm Brian. Man, that's Lucky over there. Alright, Lucky. Lucky and Sam. I'm feeling right. we have a long adventure ahead of us, right? <laughs> I'm Brian. Alright. Just, just please don't die, bro. Of course, I'm a, I'm a natural survivalist, alright? I watch Bear Grylls. If I have to, I'll drink my own pee. <laughs> Can you take down a bear, though? That's like, you to be <sighs> part of the group fully, bro. You got a, the initiation. You have to kill a bear with your fist. Oh, I don't know about fists, but I might have a chance with, like, a knife, you know? <laughs> In the water it really does here? defend. Oh, yeah, there's a water well over here. Yeah, here it is. I do need to wash my hands as well. Okay. Okay, patches. <laughs> Let me wash my hands. I have some multivitamins if you if you don't have anything to do well. Oh yeah, shit, sure. I need some, yeah. You could spare some. Alright. Yeah, I could use some as well. Isn't there a hospital around Brazino or am I tripping? Yeah, actually just two left here. It's behind it's right here in front of us. Yeah, we can check out the hospital. Thank you, sir. <coughs> oh, that's the hospital right there, I think. <coughs> so we're we got some friends. I think this guy's name is Lucky, and this guy is Sam with the helmet. We do need to all get ourselves like a nice vest. And the helmet like this guy. We don't die from one shot. Dude, you need some food? I hear somebody stomp growling. Um, are you sure that's not you? <laughs> Maybe Sam. No, I don't think it's me. I'm yellow. Lucky. Yeah, I'm, I'm, do you guys have food? Yeah, right here. I have a I'm raw potato for you. Oh, I'll, I'll survive with just this for now. We'll find more. <laughs> I have, a, I have a chicken as well. We could cook that shit. I might as well, you know? Take the take the raw potato, it's on the ground. Alright, thank you. Let's do the hospital first. Alright, sir. Everyone's just munching. This is day Z, you know? <laughs> Surviving. Killing people. <laughs> making friends. Making enemies. I think that guy that I shot earlier... You heard our voice, right? If you heard our voice, um, I do have a very distinct voice, like easy to identify. And if he ever hears me again, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> That's how Daisy is, right? No hard feelings. Everyone plays like that. Everyone kills each other. At least I don't like pretend to be your friend and then murder you, you know? That's the worst kind of person, but it is a way to play. <laughs> it is a way to survive, you know? There are people like that out there. This gun has a scope on it. Okay. Alright, 
These zombies might have medicine on them. No, not maybe not. I still don't have a melee weapon if somebody finds a knife or something. Yeah, you can use this knife right here. It's a steak knife, but better than nothing. It's kind of damaged as well. Actually, no, I'll take this instead. This is better. That yeah, kukri, man. Oh, wow. Hit him through the door. Ow. Blood bag. Behind Jeez. you, over here. Come over here. What? I'm sorry. Why? No! <laughs> Yo, he just shot himself. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Isn't he your friend? Why did he shoot himself? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Like, why did he do that? I, I mean, he, he wasn't, he's not my friend friend. Like, I just met him, like, on the game. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I guess it's... I guess it's just you and me now. I don't know why. I just... Just... Just have to go, I guess, man. <laughs> Felt like I just met him yesterday. So sad. Oh, here, load him up. Oh, well, take you can take the the magazine out of this Glock. There's no bullets in it, but it might be it might help you later. If you need the Glock. What happened? <laughs> Why? Yo, oh, Abby, hello. <laughs> Playing some Daisy again. It's been a while. How are you doing? It's been oh, a better. while. We met. We met two friends. This guy's name was um Lucky, and this guy's name is Sam. But Lucky just shot himself. This, I got so much shit now. Like, I don't need all this shit. <clears throat> Alright, let me grab some stuff too, okay? Do you have a lot of bullets in your current gun right now? Maybe I should take that Glock just for... Just in case. I don't have a... Where's this Glock at? I don't see it. It's on the oh, ground on right the now. Hand. It's on the ground. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. There's 10 bullets. Alright, yeah. Take so the hit pack. Okay, I'm ready to go. We will take that Glock. Oh. Alright, let's roll. Alright. Where to, my friend? Where to? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think this is, this is Berezino, right? This is Berezino, yes sir. Is that a blaze? Alright. So. <laughs> yeah, he had a blaze on him. You guys There's just no, met, uh, like, right before I met you guys? You guys ran Yeah, yeah, like, we, we, we spawned in together, and then uh, I kind of ran into him a few times in that town. Um, just ended himself. Yeah, I, I don't know, know why. And then, yeah, I, mean, I was like, let's just team up. Well, that's Daisy. But you know what? Not often do you get to get out of the spawn town with uh, two guns with scopes on them, you know? Pretty lucky. Yeah, that's pretty good. Do we just follow this road up? Is this way north? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I do have a compass. Alright, sounds good. Alright, so the sun is rising from that way. That way must be east. Yeah. Yeah, this way is north. We north. are going north right Straight. now. You know, I did notice some... Um, I haven't put, I haven't played this game in a long time, okay? And I noticed the night sky is a little different. Is it possible yeah. to navigate? With the star? Oh, there's on me. Okay. Uh, I think there is a North Star. I think that's uh, something that is common. Alright, stay frosty, Lucky. Or Sam. I'm Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just check this right here. I do have the chicken still, so if you if you if you need to eat, you could cook this thing up. I just need medicine, cause I'm. I, aren't you sick too? Actually, yeah, I could use medicine. Yeah, yeah. We need some 
multivitamins or some tips. Of... Isn't there like a military uh, hospital tent area somewhere like nearby? That's um, Krasnov airfield, I think. Yeah, by the airfield. That's pretty close, right? Yeah, I, just need to Berezino, west, I think from Berezino, it's northeast. Yeah, no, no, no. I think it's uh, <coughs> yeah, northwest. Yeah, something, something like that. It's good to have There's a companion who knows <laughs> who knows the map pretty well. <coughs> I would get lost. You know, at first I thought he shot you. Like I thought I heard the gunshot and I heard him say, "Here, come here," or something, and then boom. I thought yeah, he shot he said he said hey look here right I turned around and he was already kneeling with the gun on his head <laughs> oh, man. which server is this this is day one <coughs> Ternaris have you played some DayZ yet <laughs> have you been playing yourself this is a fun game don't pass through here yes definitely <coughs> We did hear gunshots earlier, but we did we killed the guy that we thought we heard the gunshots from. Um, but uh, I mean, this is a spawn area. There's a lot of people. Uh, there must be somebody nearby. There might be. Do we be running around with our guns out, or do you think it's safe? <laughs> um, I feel like you know when we're running know. on the road, right? I guess when I'm like got a little bit more gear, yeah, like yeah, maybe I'll start running around. I have no ammo, so it's like no reason to even scare people. Oh, that's true. <laughs> sneezing. Just hunting I don't know how he's so here. sick. Check out. Maybe he's got some 308. <laughs> Do what? I don't know how I get. I got so sick, you know. I'm so used to like the mask where you know you're you're always super cold and you, you know, get sick there. But here it feels like I'm not that cold at all, and I still get sick, you know. Yeah. Is it the co is it the clothing? Maybe my clothes are not like warm enough. <laughs> I don't think so. Where's that? You going? Oh, sorry. Right this guy seems friendly. Yeah, he seems very friendly. <laughs> I like him. Just the fact that um, when I ran into him and uh, Lucky earlier, the fact that they didn't shoot on sight is you a, a good bar? sign on me. Yeah, I do. Do you have one? Do you need one? I do not. There's one up here. Yeah, you should snag it, man. You snag it. Alright. This guy sounds really familiar, though. I might have... Sounds like I... It feels like I met him in, like, a GTA server. So like, we want to be going northwest, right? Um, northwest, yes, sir. The, the airfield, right? That's right. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago, actually. Airfield. I haven't played... I haven't played DayZ since that's been a thing. Like uh, the, the medical the tents and everything at the at the Krasnov? Yeah. Oh, you, it must have been a long time for you then. Because that thing's it's been, been around a long for, time. Yeah, it's been a while for Yeah. Thing happened to me after yeah, going to your chat two weeks so ago. I started playing it like a couple weeks ago and I just happened to run into it um, like a couple days ago and was like, this it is like this, like the best place for like bandages and tetra and charcoal powder and all that shit. Yeah. And also, if you want to go to like the gas zone areas, um, I'm guessing if if the if you if you haven't played since the the tents, right, then you don't know about the gas zones either. I do have know you, about the gas zones uh, and how some of them are like random. Like you hear like a bomb go off, and it's it just um, yes, yeah, so I do know about that. And like how I think Rippy is one of the places that's a constant. Oh, yeah, yeah. The constant ones is where the good stuff's at, right? The good guns. Right, I think so. I, I also did hear that they might add, like, a... Like, a underground, like, cave system or something like that in Chernaris. Have you heard about that? Like, a tunnel, maybe? I, th I think so. Yeah, something. Yeah. 
feel like you hear voices that they're they're so similar. Yeah, like in online, I don't know. I have, I have a very bad like a uh, voice identify identifying part in my brain. Like I hear people's voices, I hear them talking. <laughs> like if I haven't interacted with them a lot, a lot, you know, then everyone almost sounds the same to me, you know. I think this is wise. Like just cross in the middle of the field like this. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's still, like, the kind of very close to the spawn area. I don't think people are as geared, you know, as us right now. We're pretty geared. Just need to find you some bullets, and we're good to go. Dude, that one guy you tied up, like, that dude was, had some good shit, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Cleaned them up good. <clears throat> I don't know why, you know, like, we're trying to, you know, we're being friendly, you know. He's the one who shot first, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's these little tents up here. Do you want to check them out? All right, let's do it. <laughs> Might have to cook this chicken up as well. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I'm getting <laughs> yellow food and yellow drink. I have a very unique voice, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I hear, I hear, like, people, people tell me that I don't have the typical, like, Californian oh. accent, you know, I think that might be why. Like, kind of, you know... I was just looking, I couldn't see if they're very good. Grew up on an island with people who speak very distinctly, like Chamorros and Filipinos. So, I think, uh, the way I speak is, um, a little bit different. But yeah, that's true. But then this guy's voice, it's not, it's not like I'm saying he has a default voice either. There's a guy, um, you know, in the GTA RP server that I played in. His mic quality sounds very similar like his, and his voice sounds very similar too, that's why. I'm pretty sure they're not the same people, but... <laughs> it is what it is. I don't think I see any dead zombies. Look at here, a fucking og. Yo, that's all you, man. Grab these gloves, all right? <coughs> hey, I don't want to cough all over my friend. We're both already <laughs> sick. No. Trying to find some bullets for your AUG. Any uh, tactical bacons around here? found some bullets for my rifle, which is good. I found a box of bullets for my rifle. Uh, oh, what kind? Another 545? Five, five. No, no, no. Wait, what is it called? <laughs> I don't know what. 545 by 39 bullets. By 39? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for my, my scout, my SSG. Afraid our friend dying or we we're yeah, dying. I mean, five, five, six, uh, this. <laughs> Don't jinx it. We're not gonna die. We're, we're survivalists. We've been through worse. Alright, so do you wanna risk it and getting wet? I guess we're already sick, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're already sick anyways, but uh, do you wanna do you wanna cook this chicken somewhere? <laughs> yeah, is there a town up here? 
there's a house I see up ahead, we can always um cook with the stove as well, you know? Oh, that's right. Okay. All right. Yeah, you lead the way. Pick the spot. Now uh, we'll just cook it up. I just did. It's just one chicken, though. <laughs> we might need to catch some more food. Better, better for nothing. Miss Daisy a lot. Yeah, they, you know, Daisy is such a good, um, it's something that's very fun to watch. Not just like playing, but I don't know about other games, right? Like, like when I watch other streamers, um, DayZ is just one of those games that's just very cinematic to watch. It's fun. There's a whole, there's a whole DayZ community on Twitch, you know, like with the Running Man. Like if you're interested, you should check them out. They're pretty fun. Running Man, there's Ben Fruit. He makes music as well on the side. Wait, is that a chicken? There's Ceramore. There's, um, who else? There's a lot of people. Lax Hawthorne. <laughs> I highly recommend watching Lax Hawthorne. You do it in here? For Daisy. Alright, let's do it. Uh, let's see. <coughs> but Lax Hawthorne, he's not he's not a friendly player. He's like like the the scum of the earth type where he betrays people left and right, but it's it's funny. Alright. Uh hey, what kind of pistol do you have? <laughs> um I have a Glock. Also, I did find a MP5 mag that we could get the bullets out of. You need some? No, I just have a lot of 380. Alright, so we told this guy that my name is Brian. <laughs> I like to, I like to, you know, Give fake names to people. Don't get too attached, you know? And then, if we ever meet again in another life, I won't be Brian anymore. Alright, so I do have rope and bones, so if anything, we could fish for food as well. Is <laughs> Brian. I don't know why, it's just the first name that really <laughs> popped up to my name when they asked me what my name is. Alright, you can grab a chicken. Oh, also, if we if we can't find any like uh, medicine stuff, we can always just grab like um, catch some fish. And just eat till our stomachs are about to explode and just let our <laughs> immunity do the work, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna eat the other chicken, okay? Because I am <laughs> red hunger right now. <laughs> you got the spaghetti. Yeah, I'm gonna munch this down. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. Eat that other piece of chicken, because I think the chicken don't really do as good as the spaghetti does. Yeah, I ate both of them. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all good. We do need more food. Ah. And now that I think about it, I don't know if um the tenth place has, <coughs> uh, you know those pills. I'm pretty sure they do have like all the IV stuff. You know. Wait, what are you doing? Collecting my own blood for in case something happens later. <laughs> Chicken seasoned with some floor dirt. <laughs> you know, lately I've been doing a lot of cooking of uh, chicken breast with some vegetables. And all I really need are, you know, salt and pepper for the spices. 
that's all you need. You know, it's healthy. It's good. I appreciate the, the bland taste of the chickens more nowadays, you know? Like before, chicken breast used to be just a thing that I would eat when I'm like, you know, exercising um, or I'm trying to down. lose weight. Yeah, I'm gonna make one down I got, I got like 10 bones on me, my guy. If you need some, just let me know. I, I, I enjoy bland food, just... The healthiness of it is um right, I'm ready. enough uh, to make it delicious for me. I don't know. Like lately, you know, when I go eat Hawaiian barbecue, there's a regular barbecue chicken where it's like say like you know it's sweet, actual barbecue. Uh, but they also offer just regular kind of grilled chicken with um lemon pepper sauce, and that's I, I honestly like it more than the sweet barbecue nowadays. Like he was doing the Loki move? What's that? <laughs> With the blood? <laughs> Looks so geared with the AUG and the blaze already, my guy. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I just need some clothes. Kinda need some out. armor. Wait, earlier I saw one of the zombies. <coughs> Maybe he had a vest, but... You know, my brain just doesn't work very well these days and I forgot. <laughs> There's a town over there. You want to try? You want to check it out? Yeah, let's do it. Much of a town, more like a little <laughs> housing compound. Oh, actually, you could you could kill that deer and just get a whole bunch of food right now. I do have bullets. Oh, that's a good call. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Um, we just gotta be real quick about it, I guess, yeah? Yeah. Alright, I'll put it down. You scan it. You got bullets for that thing? Yeah, I got eight. Uh, Alright. You should, you should hold on to that. We, we actually need your... Um, your AUG for just in case, you know? I have a bunch right, of bullets the, uh, with, uh, for my scout anyway. What about the, the uh, M1? Oh, you're right. Alright. <laughs> you see it? You just need garlic powder? I hear it's close. Did we scare it off? <laughs> I think so. I think we scared the deer off. <coughs> yeah, garlic powder has salt in it. But yeah, garlic powder... <coughs> garlic powder, lemon pepper... Be all you need. Oh, I, see <laughs> I see it. Um, let me just, uh... Wait, let me let me take my time. Got him. Still running, bro. Oh no, there's one dead. That's just the other one. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, there, I killed one here by the tree. Oh, I didn't yeah, know. He okay, here we go. I got him. Oh, that's that was loud, huh? <clears throat> kind of forget. I forget how loud Daisy guns can get. <laughs> Almost double kill. If I if I hit the deer, I don't think he would have died. Did the uh, did the pot have water in it already, or do we need a piece of fat? Because that used to be a thing, didn't it? It has it has water in it already. Okay. Grab the meat. Um, I got like a couple fats. It'd be good though. You wanna cook it right now? Let's go to the house and cook it there, yeah? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Gotta wash it. my hands anyways. Even if I shot that deer, unless I shot it in the head, 
It probably would have gotten away. Can you wash your hands in like the rivers? Oh uh, yeah, you should. You should be able to wash your hands with your bottle as well, or with uh, the pot, I think. Just need to scroll, scroll down or up. <laughs> um, wait. Can you? Oh. you? might have to. You might have to remove it from the the stove first. Yeah, you do. You have to take it off the stove. Okay. We'll do it when we get down here. <laughs> I'm constantly red hunger. <laughs> What's going on? Always hungry. Yo, I'm constantly red apple. <laughs> My apple's just always We're red. We're about to eat our fill right here. This is going to be a good one. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because of like the rain and I guess my clothing's very... Oh, my shirt is ruined. Oh, my shirt is ruined. I just noticed. Maybe that's why I'm constantly losing hunger so fast. <laughs> all... Yeah, I don't know. I've been eating a lot. I ate a lot in the spawn town, but I'm still hungry. Maybe it has to do with you being sick? Yeah! Actually, you're right. Like, when you're sick, you do lose um, hunger and thirst a lot faster. But at, um, if we can just, like, eat a whole bunch of food oh, and get our oh, apple to white, then we should be able to slowly recover from the sickness. Because um, in Daisy, there's a hidden, like, immunity stat. Like, when all your um, stats in your bottom right are white, you you get um you recover from illnesses faster and <coughs> okay, that hunting shop might have uh, bullets for your blade as well <coughs> also don't forget to wash your hands okay? yeah good call <laughs> oh wow, there's a lot of meat in there. Bandages. Have everything we need to survive. Yeah, there's some fat and an extra meat on the ground. <coughs> Alright, wait here, okay? I'm gonna go check out the hunting store, see if the, there's some bullets for you, okay? Alright. See if there's any other players out here. There is a water fountain outside right there too. Should keep that, keep that. Okay, so that building over there. Usually they have um civilian level Guns. We need to find like a yellow box of ammo for him. Because he has like one of the best snipers in the game right now. He just doesn't have bullets for it. One of the best. I guess like rifle that you can find very early on that can last you throughout the whole game. There are like really good military weapons that you get from helicopter crashes and stuff as well. There's nothing. Damn it. I was hoping at least like a couple of 308s or something. The blaze. I will find some. Okay, let me over here. <laughs> you 
Hear that gunshot? Yeah, I did. <coughs> Alright, let's get our apples to white and hopefully our immune system will we'll be good. Be careful started. not to eat too much. Is this, uh, this, this is not gonna make us throw up by eating too much if we're sick like this, right? Um, I don't think so, but at the same time, you might be right. It might be that if you eat the fat too much, you might throw up, but the meat should be fine. Yummy. <laughs> Venison steak boiled. Crunchy meat. Yeah, Daisy has always had like a very crunchy, you know, eating sound for like all the foods. So whether you're eating mushy beans or like actual potato chips, it's always this crunchy sound. I don't know if they're they're not adding extra sounds on purpose <laughs> just for like the memes, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, how many how many did you eat? I think I ate like three of them. Oh, I had two. I don't want to eat all the meat, okay? You can have some too. I'll have uh, one piece of fat. Let's boil that one, that that meat. The last piece of meat. Fat, I mean. Ternaris is such a rainy, rainy city. Rainy county? So is Ternaris like a county or is it a country? <laughs> I would say it's more like a country. Ternaris? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Is it not? Or is it like a city? It's more like a city, yeah. Well, like Berezino and Electro would be the cities, I guess, inside the the county or something, right? <laughs> yeah. Ah, shit. I don't know. <laughs> I see what you mean, though. Like, the heads, like, Zelenogorsk is a city. Because there is, yeah. you know, more north, like, you probably could go more north, it's just that it's blocked off for us right now, right? <laughs> just um, see a small part of what Chernaris actually is. White apple. There's also a fountain outside. Apple. I kind of want yeah, to drink it. Yeah, water water drink it. Yeah. I'm gonna refill this bottle just in case it's dirty. <laughs> Here's uh, this water bottle. Is uh, Lucky's little memento. <laughs> That he left for us. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try getting. I want to get a car in this world or this server. I want to get a car so we can drive around. I kind of want to get a car going if we find one. You down for that? That would be nice. Yeah, I haven't driven a car in probably back in Xbox days. <laughs> I heard it's a lot better these days. Because um, back in the days, right, if you drive a car, you fly into the sky, like into the atmosphere, you know? <laughs> yeah, I remember Should that. I drink this? Alright, <laughs> take us northwest, my guy. get like armor we have the guns to fight people no armor <laughs> could use one more companion 
Like, two is a good number in DayZ, you know, when you're surviving. Because, like, you don't, you know, if you have more people, there's more mouths to feed, right? Two is perfect. Three is just, like, good company. And, and I, I'd say going, like, running around with, a, like, a group of three is the best. The best entertainment for me. And then four just gets confusing and someone's always hungry, <laughs> someone's always sick. You have to be really good friends and have good chemistry to run with four people and five people. <laughs> you see something? No, I was just looking through the... I have, need to look through the scope. I haven't even done that in my skin yet. Oh, that gun is kind of funky because, like, the scope, you have to roll it up, I think, to actually look through it. Yeah. Otherwise, you're looking through the sights and... You can still see the, you know, the, the reticle and everything, so it can be confusing. <laughs> the one made Lucky end things. We have to eat his other life, maybe? <clears throat> you never know. <laughs> it could be that he just wanted to, like, um, maybe he had a friend who actually logged on. Because um, when I met him, he basically just, he said he basically just <laughs> logged in as well. And he might have um, been trying to play with his friend and maybe his friend spawned somewhere else and then just died so that he can spawn next to his friend. It's always a possibility. <coughs> oh, do you need, I, I have uh, epoxy for you to repair your stab vest. Do you want it? I think it takes a leather sewing kit to, rep to repair it. Oh, no, right? I think you can repair it with this thing. Try it out. <laughs> that thing will save your life, man. Oh, you can. <laughs> I didn't know that. I learned something today. Yeah, epoxy is best for repairing armor, I believe. I don't know if you can hear, like, repair helmets with it, but definitely the vests. I thought that's what it was for, is, was to repair helmets with, like, the military helmets. <laughs> you might be able to actually. I don't. I don't remember. It's been so long. His mom might have called him for dinner, <laughs> or his wife. <coughs> I forgot. His voice sounded kind of young, right? <laughs> I kind of regret <laughs> killing that guy. Um, <laughs> this is guy that we just ran into. I shot him in the head. Because uh, we were running as three, and four, like I said, is a crowd, but maybe we should just let him stick around so that when Lucky kind of offed himself, we end up back with, you know, three people. <laughs> <coughs> it's been raining for so long. Is it ever going to end? <laughs> Man, I'll tell you, like, yesterday I played on Livonia because Chinaris was cool, so, and it, it, it rained for like four hours and in that four hours it rained for four hours <clears throat> oh my goodness <laughs> is it that time of the year's rainy season right now damn i was i swear man well, at least it's not foggy <laughs> <huh? Over> the <laughs> rain. <laughs> have you tried in the mouse i have a few times yeah <laughs> i love that map at the same time, I hate it because it's always foggy. What do you love, what do you you love so it. much about it? What's so, what's, well, what's it's, good? It's, a, it's such a small map that there's so much action, right? It's packed with action. You meet a lot of people really fast. And there's um there's this sense of progress, right? Because there's a whole alien like base thingy. You know about it? Like the uh -huh. Lantia or something like that? Yeah, Lantia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why once uh, Trenaris gets that underground tunnel thing implemented, I'm, I'll be pretty excited for that. Because then we have something to work towards, you know? Yeah. I haven't quite grasped, like, the suits or the, the whatever. Like, I found, like, threads and shit or some, something like that. Like, I just don't know what do you do with them. Um, <laughs> I think... I've never actually been to the place after Lantia because there's Lantia and then there's um. <laughs> but this, when you, once you get the suit, you can go to that alien place, right? But I've never actually gone to that alien place yet. I've never even completed the suit either. <laughs> one day. One no, day. I. 
I've just gotten lucky one time where I was playing as a first spawn and heard gunshots. <laughs> ran to him with a pistol and then it happened to be like two gear guys had traded. And so I just lucked up and found a bunch of good stuff. But like I said, it was like some threads and key cards. I had no idea what, what any of it was. Uh, for the threads? Do you know, do you know where the, um... <laughs> What is it? The oil rig is? In the mouse? No. Alright, so if you go... If you go, uh, eastwards, okay? Um, okay. you have to swim through the... You have to get to the ice sheets, basically. Like, you're gonna hear this loud alarm. Just follow the alarm sound, and then you'll get to the oil rig. And once you have, like, all the different... I think there's three different, um, thread colors that you can get, like a red... Orange and the blue one. You should be able to craft like a 3D print armor or something like that. The alien armor. Okay. But there might, be like there the might be some extra steps. Like, yeah, like um, it keeps you warm. It's uh one of the best armors, but the inventory space is kind of doo doo. But you don't really need oh, okay. inventory space. You just need you know. <laughs> because once you yeah, get at the that suit, point, you're not really trying to survive. <laughs> it sounds like you're just trying to just kill yeah exactly and you just take other people's food eat it on the spot <laughs> yeah <laughs> <coughs> and then you can get to the alien place too and then we die there that's where you end your journey you know <laughs> help me where I'm going right now <laughs> You know whereabouts we are right now? <laughs> I have no clue. There was a town back there that we should have went and seen what it was, but I have no idea. We're just still traveling northwest. Maybe we should just like find a road and follow it, like through mm -hmm. the trees and the tree lines. <coughs> I think I see a castle over there too. You see that? Do we head towards the castle? Yeah, sure. <coughs> Maybe it'll give us some like kind of an eye where we need to be going. Yeah, we can go up there. We could go up there and um, just like find out what our plans is. Maybe we can make a fire up there as well. I think we could see the... We should be able to see the... What is it? The yellow tent area from, from the castle. Crescent off airfield? Yep. Yeah. <coughs> I thought I was going to see some action when I first found it uh, a couple days ago, but because it's just one of those spots that you're just, you just think you're going to find somebody there. I, I think like back when I used to play this server quite a bit, um, that yellow tent area was a hot spot. I would always run into people there because, uh, you know, the gas zone was pretty new back then. And um, that those tents was a good place to find the NBC gear, you know? Okay, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You wanna just like collect NBC stuff and go to the gas zone ourselves? Maybe that's uh, we can try it. Like we can set that to be our main goal to look for the gear, look for the NBC gear. I'm down for that. All right, let's do it. So basically, NBC is like hazmat suit. Um, I mean, hopefully, you know, make nuclear, it to the, bio, to the end. chemical That'll be a suits. damn good adventure for sure. Oh yeah. Maybe we can even find a friend there. <laughs> oh, some wolves. Shit, look, you got fucking wolves. <laughs> No, I, I hear these howls and I see food. I hear food and hear it. You want to blast them? Yeah, let's do it. <coughs> let's get him while we're still in the trees. There's one. Is it just one? 
I don't see him. That was just one wolf. I didn't even see the one that you shot. It's this way. I guess it was just that one wolf. <laughs> ah, it should be somewhere around here. It sounded like it was a whole pack. Oh, yeah. Sounded like it was a whole pack, too. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Be sustenance for us, my friend. <laughs> Just lonely. <laughs> He's just trying to find the family, his family and friends. But you know, in the world of Daisy, oh, that's ruined. Nothing is your friend, unfortunately. All right. Have you seen Mumei or like the Hololive girls play that wolf game? <laughs> that looks pretty fun too. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And there's also this dinosaur game that I wanted to try playing. It's called, um, what was it called? Saurian? I don't know if you've heard of it. Basically, this like, <laughs> you play as a dinosaur and it's day Z. Except you're a dinosaur. And people can play as different species of dinosaurs. You can be like a vegetarian dinosaur. Vegetarian. A herbivore. And travel in herds. Or you can be like an apex predator. Like a, like a T-Rex. Or you could be a velociraptor. But also it depends on like how many people do play, right? Because like lately, whenever like MMOs like that appear... Problem is, there's not enough players. Ooh. Got a longhorn in him. Uh, you should check if they, it has a bullet for your blaze. You might have one. Oh, you should. Well, this takes a 7.62 by 5.4, right? Mosin round, isn't it? Uh, I'm pretty sure the longhorn <laughs> takes three away. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Alright, so there's like, a, yeah. there's like a military compound right that way. We should hit that first and then go to the castle, okay? Yeah, sure. Which, uh, do you know what military compound this is? I have no idea. I know I know it's like, it's not really a compound. It's like the tents, you know? Like, a, like there's like two tents. What is that? You know where you're going. I have no idea. Uh, I kind of know this spot because um, that that castle, I recognize it. And I do recognize <laughs> the, the road checkpoint, the military checkpoint thingy. And there's a there's like a town on the other side uh, of the mountain. And you should be able to see uh, the airfield from the top of the castle as well. Where, where's this castle you keep saying? Where's it at? I don't see it. You don't see it? When when you aim at the peak of that little mountain thing, you see like uh, some ruins, I guess? No. Oh. No, that's probably where my the distance probably uh, doesn't go very far. Oh, uh, okay. I have my render distance I see like a mountain. Like maximum. Here, yeah, let me see if I can see it. Like a, me, there's like a me, small me like block myself. sticking out from the very top. There's a get asking to get pregnant. Yeah, that one. <laughs> I think we might we might have been here on our like hardcore survival uh, playthrough. You know, <laughs> that one where like you have to. There's like a whole bunch of different medicines, and you get sick, and you can die like right away. We got lucky and got out of the spawn area. 
and we met nobody throughout the whole run, and then we ended up going all the way to that. Yeah, we'll just, uh, we might base. just mess with it later, because, like, I don't want to be stuck out here, and I'm, I don't really know what I'm doing with the settings. That's all good. I'll be your eyes for now, okay? It would be nice to see what you're seeing, though. Wait, do you see, do you see like, that way? If you look this way, there's, like, another giant castle. Do you see that one, or is it too far? No, all I see is the tree line uh, in front of us. Shoot. All right, you need to fix that render distance. <laughs> you want to do it? You want to do it in this bush here? I think it's pretty safe here. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, Let me see here. Game. Video. Object <laughs> detail high. Um, Terrain detail? I think the important thing is under rendering, there should be. Texture detail shadow. Wait, <laughs> Extra filtering. Wait, what? Where is it? Wait, I don't see it. Oh, I think your overall quality, you have to change it to like the maximum and then start reducing the other object details or something like that, you know? Yeah, I don't see. I don't see render distance. Object detail, terrain detail. Yeah, I have object. I have all the scene complexities at medium, and texturing, texture filtering to post process anti aliasing at high. Hardware anti aliasing is low. Foliage smoothing is enabled. Ambient occlusion, post process quality medium. Water reflection is low. Field of view. Did you do it? Wow, his um background noise is really loud. I think he has a fan on right now. <laughs> There's a fan just blaring in the background. Hopefully that's not his PC. <laughs> Hopefully not. If it's if his PC is that loud, it must be really hot in there. Are Maybe you... I got it. I don't know. Yeah, you... I just put everything on medium, but I don't see anything. Uh, you don't see the the castle at the top. No. All right. Try. Did you try like? Changing your overall quality to the very highest, and then you lowered everything to medium and stuff, right? All right, let me see. Get back in the bush. Can you still hear me even though I'm in my settings? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, so just overall. Wait, you're, go to you're in the open. Come, come to the bush. Right. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, well, I see want... the castle now. Yeah, I see the All castle. Right. And did you lower a couple of the things? Because like, if everything's in the maximum, I'm pretty sure your your game might stutter a little bit, you know? Yeah. So like, what I um, shadow detail won't low, texture okay. detail low, and terrain detail. Um, for scene complexity, I just keep everything medium for myself that's just the way i like it. it it also depends on how beefy your pc is i guess right and for rendering texture filtering high terrain surface detail high post process anti-aliasing high hardware anti low foliage smoothing enabled ambient occlusion medium post process quality medium water reflections low that's just my settings okay i think we're good I see right. it now. Do you see it? Yeah, Alright, yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah. And you're not, you don't lose like frames or anything either? You good? <laughs> uh, I'm about 120 frames. Oh, hell yeah, man. How are you playing this game with that low render distance, my guy? I don't know. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't think, 
I don't honestly think it was me that was messing with the settings, but it's just started playing it, and it's just how I've always been playing it. But yeah, now I see everything. Well, now your eyes are open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were, you were giving yourself like a handicap, my guy. Wait, where was the checkpoint? I think it was around here somewhere. I think he's playing with like his mic constantly enabled. <laughs> That's why we, we hear his voice like, wait, hold on. I can hear him from those a long tents time. Or the castle oh, wait, first. Right, let's do the tents first because it's on the way anyways. Okay. Alright. Um, is it there? I see some barricade things. Barricade. Okay, there it is. Is that the tent? Alright. There might be players nearby as well. Zombies? You see any zombies? I don't see any. Right, if there's no zombies, that's also... There might be people there. If there's no zombies, it must mean people... I do like see some zombies. Them. They're staying there. Second wind ambient sound. Yeah. But the, the, the thing that worries me is like, if we do encounter an enemy, right? And we're fighting close quarters. If um the enemy guy hears his, you know, fan thing, like, they know exactly where he is. You can pinpoint him through the sound. What's that noise? Was that the, was that a chopper? Um, I don't know if it was a helicopter or like a gas zone bombing. Oh, yeah. It's been a long time. It could be either one. Alright, we might get lucky to find some armor, body armor from these zombies. <coughs> and we're still sick. Yeah, it's bad. Still got some meat on you, right? I do. Okay. That was a loud explosion. Oh, wow. Zombie was so fast. Bring it! <laughs> Armor? I found like five, uh, four, five, five, six bullets for your AUG. I do need that. Don't you need, uh, five, four, five by like three, nine or something? Yes, sir. But here's some bullets for you. And here's some bullets for you. Nice. Oh, I'm finding a lot of bullets for myself. What? What? strong bullets for me I have more than enough uh, five for five bullets now 
Did you check the other tent? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing? No, I didn't check him. Like three boxes of five for five. <coughs> Alright, I guess we can go to the, the castle now. Might find bullets for your blaze. Yeah, that'll be nice. Guy looks a lot better, I think, than it used to as well. I don't know if it's just the server. I don't know if it's just the server or is the, is the sky different? The clouds look better, I think. Ooh, you hear that? More gunshots? Is that what you heard? I think, yeah, I think it was like automatic fire. Did the clouds move? Before you you were able to like look at the clouds and see which way the the clouds are going and you can tell like the directions and stuff. I feel like you can't do that anymore. Those fires are coming from the northwest. They're still oh, firing. Right. I still hear them. Let's check it out. We might run into like a like a aftermath. Maybe we get some uh, leftover loot or find the guy who's the last man standing and finish him off. <laughs> oh, it might be at the tents then. It's this way. <coughs> yeah, it might be. Give myself got some good upgrades. Not nice. yeah. Like I do see every now and then when I open up Steam, like there's like a big update for DayZ, and I see the patch notes and stuff. Like this, some um, hip pack and all that. Like there's like new backpacks, especially those new hats and all that too. I mean, it's like it's not gonna change the gameplay, but like having variety always makes it interesting. Should we build a fire over here? Because I'm freezing. Ah, uh, for sure. Oh, I'm not sick anymore, by the way. You're still See, sick? Yeah, I'm, I'm the same as you. Yeah, I'm still sick, yeah, but my shirt's ruined, so... Probably why I'm cold. You should, you should eat some more of that, that steak. Just, like, gobble it down. Or eat the fat or something. And get your, your apple as high up as possible, because then your immunity increases. And you can, uh... Get rid of sicknesses faster. I'm like a Daisy <laughs> encyclopedia right now. Actually not starving like every five minutes. I like it. I gotta check this little entrance gate thingy. I'm on, yep, I'm with you. There's a gun repair kit on the zombie. Oh, really? Yeah. Sure. Um... It's actually big. <coughs> gun repair kit. Alright, I got it. That's actually big. I didn't know zombies had uh, gun repair kits on them. Not bad. And his mic is so loud. <laughs> Handle that one. Watch out for bear traps. Binoculars. 
We don't need those because we have scoped guns. Um, right. Wait, what? I'm lagging! Up here. The rifle? Now what you got? This. BR-527. Oh, I want that. I don't have space for it. I think I'm gonna keep my current gun right now. Yeah, so am I. I have so many bullets for it right now, you know? Stream stop for a few seconds. Yeah, I have, I've been having like weird connection issues. I was fine yesterday. And last week when I streamed, I don't think I had any like connection issues then either. But like today, I, I can tell just from the game, like on the top left, I get this, um... The red disconnection icon. Oh, wait, did you go to the very top? Yeah, I did. There's nothing up there. Did you Did you see um which way the the town is though? Hold on. Oh shit! No, I didn't. It's like the one thing we came up here to do. Oh. Uh, see. Ah, oh, my internet connection. My connection. <coughs> Okay, so that's the town I was talking about, and over beyond it, you see there those is. yellow tents? <laughs> yeah, I see And yeah. back here, this is where we came from, there's the military tents. There's some other... There's a lot of, like, surrounding houses, actually. This is bigger than I thought. What should the plan be? Should we go to those tents, get some medicine? Alright, so what do you want to do? Do you want to go there? Do you want to go to the tents? Yeah, absolutely. We gotta go to the tents. We got some medicine. We gotta get some medicine. Let's get medicine, and uh, I guess we can start collecting the NBC gear as well. That's exactly east from here, so just keep that in mind. That sounds good. <coughs> Remember this place? Yeah, I think we've we we we've definitely pl place her huh? talking so hard today. <laughs> All right, I have a question. Whenever I see that red disconnection icon in the top left, does the stream get kind of choppy? Lagging really bad. Yeah, it's like my connection's just dying right now. I think it's me. I think you're fine. Right, so it is this way, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got very geared. Yeah. We got... I mean, we went to the very, like, end game area. But the, the problem was we didn't meet a single soul. I don't think we even heard gunshots when we played through there. We didn't even build a fire. Are you there? Yo, right here. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, we we didn't even build a fire. But we're good. You. We'll you find good? some clothes at the town. Yeah, yeah, we'll find some clothes at the town. All right, just my my health on, is going just down. Just <laughs> oh, you're blue. Wait, what? Yeah, my health. I'm about seventy-five percent health. Wait, is your temperature like dark blue right now? Mm, yes, my temperature is dark blue. Oh. Hmm. Okay, um, how about we do this? You should, uh, you get your stove, right? You can put this thing on your stove, because I think the, the gas is already dying. And you should heat up the gas, the, what is it? 
heat up your your uh all right so what then your bin turn it on <laughs> i forgot i forgot what it's called the the them the, the, huh? the, the navi uh the pan okay he, heat up the pan just uh, get it hot and put it in your pockets yeah should keep you warm <laughs> And I'll hold on to the stove itself if, uh, if you don't have space in your inventory. I'm having trouble. You Pots. keep cutting in and out, so I'm having trouble. Oh, oh. just just uh, heat up the cooking pot, right? And then remove it from the, the stove later, and then just keep the, the cooking pot in your pants for a little bit, and it should um, warm you up. Okay, I got you. Use up this whole thing <coughs> first. <coughs> I think you can even drink the hot water as well and it should warm you up. <coughs> Not long enough to affect. Got attacked but it was after leaving that place. It was another big city passing through those military zones. We got the Yolohama and someone tried to kill us. Uh, Oh wait, was it like a really long time ago playthrough then? Is that... Think that'll be about... good? Yeah. Uh, yeah, try try drinking the cooking pot. See if it... Okay, I'll hold on to the stove. <coughs> and you should try drinking the hot water. See if it warms you up. Just drink the whole thing and then keep the, keep the hot pot in your pockets. It actually... The temperature was going up with the hot pot there. See, yeah, I'm, it's going up now with it in my pocket. So, All I'm right. not doing anything when I was drinking it. <laughs> I like how you're gulping down that 200 degrees Fahrenheit water. Yeah. <laughs> Looks cute. <laughs> That's brutal. He was drinking boiling hot water. I bet his throat is just <laughs> it's a mess right now. <laughs> I think you can die from shock if you drink like boiling hot water like that, right? In real life. <laughs> There's a mod though, like in um in in the mouse, if you drink hot water or eat hot food, like piping hot food, you actually get hurt. People actually die from drinking hot food like that. Did you actually did you get the heat buff by any chance? You know the plus icon next to your temperature? Do what now? About the heat buff? No, the, the heat buff, uh, the, temp the the plus icon next to your temperature, right? Did you get that? Right. Do you have one right no. now? No. I thought, I thought you might actually get it from the hot water. It it's might not... happen. I went from dark blue to light blue and now I'm in the white, so... Um, that sounds good. It dude. might go up. Now I'm back in the light blue. I think you just need to find like a like a shirt in one of these houses, okay? Yeah. We'll there's a there's a police this station thing. this way. Let's just like loot towards there. Maybe we'll get lucky and find some more uh, stat vests as well. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Keep an eye on Sam. I don't want to lose him. There might be a baddie lurking around, trying to murder us. <laughs> Door's locked. Sick. <coughs> oh, yo, I found bullets for your, your, uh, <laughs> yo, oh, yo, what's up? Yeah, check it, check it, check it, check it. Check it. Oh. Bullets yeah. for your blaze. Cooking pot still hot? <laughs> so far, so good. We're still in the white.
Okay, I do need this hoodie as well. I hear my friend just sneezing away. Alright, I changed into a hoodie. Need to find you one too. Dude, we can tell exactly where he is because we hear his um his fan or whatever that is. Zombie up the road here. Roger. Wait, where's the zombie? Oh. Alright, that wasn't me, so. Might be a guy around here. Do we be friendly <laughs> or do we kill him? Nah, let's just. Let's just get him. Alright, sounds good. <laughs> I don't think I want to replace Lucky. <laughs> There's two of us, but it's actually three, because Lucky <laughs> is, in fact, in our hearts, right? In our kokoro. Yeah, that's right. Hello? Anybody here? Yeah, there's a hiking jacket over here in this house, if you need it. Kind of damaged. Someone else in this town, I think he might have heard that zombie screaming. Yeah, if we can find anything else besides this red uh, target, <laughs> uh, that'd be great. Yeah, just, just temporary right now, okay? <laughs> yeah. Thought I heard footsteps to the left. I thought I saw a zombie right behind the barn. Wait, did somebody just run behind the barn? Am I tri tripping? No, I don't know. I didn't see him. I see them by the police station. There's two guys. I think they see me. Do we shoot? Did you see him? Yeah, shoot. Alright, get him, get him. Aim at him. Nah, no, I'll shoot when... Oh, they're fighting the zombies. They're still inside the station. I think I missed. <laughs> There's a guy still inside the station on the first floor. Uh, I don't know if I hit him or not. Guy's still inside the fire, the, the police station, okay? Okay, I got you, I got you. There's one guy behind the... Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> By the, the greenhouse on the right? Yeah, he's inside the uh, storage sheds, yeah? There's a guy on the right side of the greenhouse, on the right side of the greenhouse. I think you should keep an eye out on the... Guy. front of me <sighs> ah, 
Eat your head out, little butt. My gun is badly damaged. Wait, is my friend dead? Yo, Sam, you good? Oh, he's still there. Yo, Sam, you got you got that uh, gun repair kit still? I might yeah. need to use it. I might need to use it. Okay. You want it now? Yeah, hey, yeah. Leave on the ground. You see that green house that I'm looking at, right? He's around there somewhere. I lost sight of him right now, though. <laughs> oh, oh, shoot! Ah! He's alive. I'm back up. I'm up. I'm up. He's, he's blind. He's blind. He's where I'm, he's where I'm looking. Fuck. Oh, where'd my gun go? He's by the yellow tree. Yellow tree. I hit him once. He might be down, actually. Oh, he's up. He's up. He's up. Where is he? He's still by the tree. Where is he? I saw him by the hay bell. Oh! He didn't reload! <laughs> saw him, I think. I don't know if that was Sam. Okay, Sam was wearing the red shirt, right? I'm afraid I'm gonna friendly fire Sam. I'm not careful. Sam dead. Sam's dead. <laughs> dead. It's dead. They killed Sam. <laughs> All right, there's still one guy. There's still one guy. Wait, where is he? I didn't even hear him shoot. Oh, wait, no. So when we were running towards him earlier, he shot. I guess he shot Sam. <laughs> Sam was long dead. At least we got the other guy. <laughs> no! But I think it's a good place to end um, Day Z for today. That was a good adventure. I'm happy. I'm satisfied. Hold on. I'm satisfied with today's adventure, all right? Before we end the stream, though, I do want to open some some things. I want to unbox, like, two figures. And, uh... <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me just close Daisy, because, like, my room is turning into a sauna right now, because running, running Daisy, or running any game in general, makes my computer super hot. And, uh... It's a bit too much. It gets too hot in here. Hopefully, turning off the Daisy application will um, kind of make my room not so hot. Okay, it's hot. I'm dying right now. Okay, all right. Let me just set up my webcam real quick. <laughs> I love this stuff. I love unboxing. 
I finally get to open my figures and put them in the display shelf because they've been sitting in the boxes for so long. And I also read these, um, I read that anime figurines, right? If you leave them in the boxes too long, they get moldy. <laughs> so I want to, I want to unbox them fast. All right. Okay. Give me like two seconds. Set this stuff up. It's hot. It's hot. Yo, Octavia, hello! Welcome. Welcome to the Citadel of Nanam. You got here just in time for the unboxing of a few things before we end the day. We had a pretty good Daisy adventure. We had a pretty good run. We met a really cool fella. His name was Sam. And we also met someone else named Lucky. But Lucky kind of offed himself for reasons unknown. He must have had his parents tell him to eat dinner or something. I don't know. That's Abby's theory. How are you? How am I? I'm good. I've been I've been studying a lot of Japanese lately. You know, doing sashingo every day for like an hour. And um, I think I shashingoed myself out. And also, you know, I was watching Free Ren. I, I pretty much finished the entire first season. A free run in like three days. <laughs> and now there's a empty hole in my heart where free run used to be. And I don't know how to fill that void. And I've been I've been reading um free run in Japanese. I've been like practicing my Japanese, right? I read the first chapter and like the sec like half of the second chapter. So what I'm doing right now is basically I read free because like I noticed the the chapters right. If you read Free Ren in Japanese and you watch the anime, they they basically use the script like word by word. Like every single thing they say in the the manga, they say it exactly the same way in uh, the anime. So if you're having problems with the kanjis as well, you know you can always just turn on the anime, find that certain scene. And uh, you know, play play the actual audio of it. It's pretty cool. Cause like if you if you read, you know, usually if you read it in English, right? There's always some kind of um, translation. Uh, what is that called? Cause like link like cultural things don't really carry over when you're con like uh, translating languages, right? So, oh my goodness, my glove. It's stuck okay um my glove <laughs> it's hot yeah it's it's been pretty hot lately i mean it's not that hot but it's getting hotter like soon I'm gonna need to be turning on my AC. I'm not really looking forward to that. Okay, that's one glove equipped. <laughs> Alright, let me just turn on my webcam so you guys have something to look at while I fiddle with this, uh, my gloves. There's Yay! <laughs> Last week, at the end of my Shashingo stream, I did unbox a couple things. And I showed you guys a couple things that I bought from Japan, right? Like, um, the beetle that you're seeing right now is actually, it's not a real beetle. It's a thing that I got from a gachapon. And, um, there's, you can see like a glimpse of Krabby. All my stuff are still here in my display 
my unboxing station i should call it and um today i want to unbox two figures that i actually won from the the crane game in japan in the ufo catcher on unbox i have a suisei figure a suisei figurine it's from relax time and i also have a mel a yozora mel figure um and i do have a couple more gachapons that i got <laughs> like um I do have uh, the beetle gachapons. I have like two more different varieties of them, I think. I think they're different. But we'll just unbox those things. Yo, gloves, what's going on? It looks like a real bug, yeah. <laughs> For for something that you get from Gachapon, right? It looks pretty it looks pretty convincing. It looks gross at the same time. But then like, you know, I I'm a person, I I'm not really that grossed out by bugs. There was a time when um I bred these things called dubia roaches cuz I was I had a pet chameleon. And you know, people who who raise chameleons know like crickets aren't or you know any reptile people who breed reptiles or like take care of reptiles know that crickets that you buy from pet stores aren't the most nutritious um food for your reptiles right so the the most uh nutrition you can get are like caterpillars and um dubia roaches especially if you breed them yourself and you feed them healthy things so that you know you can gut load them with nutrients i used to i used to breed roaches man so like i'm not yeah you know, beetles are nothing to me and yeah like people i think are afraid of roaches usually because they carry disease and bacteria but when you grow them or like when you're breeding them yourself in a sterile environment they're actually very clean so they used to crawl over me all the time but the, th the good thing about dubia roaches is they have a very sensitive kind of like a survival environment thing. Like if it gets too hot or if it gets too cold, they'll die. So even if the dubia roaches do escape from my enclosure, like they never do, but there's a slight chance that like one or two might slip out every now and then, they'll just die because it's too, too hot or too cold, you know? All right. So that there is my rhinoceros beetle one second oh one of the few bugs that doesn't look that bad you say check this out abby you're gonna like this <laughs> the wings open <laughs> you see the butt now this part like when the wings are covered is not that bad but the abdomen like <laughs> when it opens up that looks so <laughs> detailed and real i'm not grossed out by it but i'm impressed by how real it looks there's the there it is okay i'm gonna leave this guy right here <laughs> so i guess we can unbox or unwrap one of the the other beetles okay so like in Japan, right? There are kabutomushi beetles. Wait, ugh. which one should I do? Should I do the big one or the small one? Big one or small one? So like gachapon machines, right? Usually they're like a hundred yen, which is about like seventy USD or something like that. Or no, seven dollars USD, not seven. No, what? <laughs> seventy cents USD. Okay. So it's like 100 yen for typical gachapon, but these beetles, they were in a special one where you have to pay like 300 yen. So it's like, these are not the cheap gachapons, okay? <laughs> these are premium gachapons. That's why the beetle looks so good. All right, I'm going to open the big one. I think this one's a beetle one. Yeah, it is. I see. I see the wings already. Okay, hold on. I need to... Okay, so it's taped up. I need to get rid of the tape. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> what? It's not gross. They're beetles. They're kabutomushis. They're cute. Yeah, you know, there's some there's something really like Japan, Japanese I'm not saying all Japanese people love beetles or bugs, but there's a certain culture 
where they like there's like a what do you call it like a group of people who really do love these like these armored beetle type things like nenechi for example right and pokemon as well uh the creator of pokemon they did say like the original inspiration of pokemon was like catching these kind of beetles in their backyard right that's why that's why in pokemon you catch these creatures and make them fight each other i don't know if that guy is saying that he actually made his own beetles fight each other but i'm pretty sure kids do that you know okay so here's another one i think they're from the same set of like um things you can win so here are the legs <laughs> here's the head this one's kind of orange in the top. It's a different species of uh, Kabutamushi. And here's the body. It's very similar as the previous one, I think. Uh, you can open up the wings and see the insides very detailed. It comes with like a... I don't know if this is a... Oh yeah, it has an instruction manual just like last time. Where all the legs go to the... <laughs> where you connect the legs it tells you which ones are the front right legs or front left leg middle leg you know back leg <laughs> i'm gonna open this up hold on let me just get it out yeah get it out of the plastic <laughs> i need to use my teeth for this okay the body is out and while I open this up, you can look at Krabby. <laughs> so Krabby is not from like Gachapon or UFO Catcher. I just bought it straight up from the one of the Poke Centers in Tokyo. Um, as you may or may not know, Krabby is my favorite Pokemon. Oh wait. Looking at the the wing right now for this beetle. Oh wow, what? Heck, it's a little bit different. The, the way it's built is a little different. The wings don't really open up, but you can still see the inside. <laughs> it's kind of gross. All right. That's the body. Let's get the head. <laughs> Krabby is cute. Yeah. I don't know why people, like, people don't understand how cute Krabby is. Like... Whenever I ask what your favorite Pokemon is, or when anyone asks, I like, talk about their favorite Pokemon, I've never heard anyone say it's Krabby. Like, I don't understand people. How, how is Krabby not your favorite Pokemon? It's cute. It looks delicious. And it's, it's pretty good. You know, it's not a competitive Pokemon when it comes to, like, uh, the games. But I think there was once a time where Kingler was used a lot. Um, not a lot, maybe. Because, uh, Krabby has a very good speed stat and a very good physical attack stat. So, um, it has potential to do, like, sweeps. You can sweep the entire team if you get your sword stance or dragon... I forget what it's called. Is it sword stance or dragon? I think it's sword stance. If you, if you do sword stance a few times with Krabby, it has enough speed to usually... You know, wipe out the entire team. You just need to plan it well with Krabby <laughs> as a main focus. All right, so here are the legs. I think these are the front legs. If you look at the instructions, the back legs are pretty thick. Um, L1. Okay, one. All right, so one is front. This is. Is this one? This is the front legs. I'm guessing this is two then? Okay, these are the hind legs. <laughs> and here are the middle legs. Great. I'm gonna connect it. Give me one second. Okay, so I have to take off these ball joints from these center holding thingies. Okay. See that? So it's like a ball joint that you connect to the torso. Okay, which one was this? This is the right leg on the back side. So, here. Let's get this in there. Get in there. Okay. 
So because it's a ball joint, it can like you can move it around and pose it, you know? That's cool. I love it. Alright, let's get the other leg in there. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 Get! Get! <laughs> Get in there! Is it in? Is it in yet? <laughs> Is it in there? Okay. Back legs completed. Okay, middle legs. These are the middle legs. Gonna get the right side first. <sighs> right side. <laughs> right leg. Um, okay. Get, get in there. Arrgh. Hey, it goes in pretty snug. I don't know if, wait, is it good? This is good. Yeah, I think that's good. It's in there. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> You think this beetle's legs are cute? cute. Oh, oh, also, um, I didn't really plan this, but when I was really into Toriba a few months ago, I just so happened to have a prize one of the prizes was a squirtle and um you know my favorite pokemon typing is water like almost all my favorite pokemons are water types you know like uh kingdra i love kingdra it's water type gyarados is pretty cool but here's squirtle uh, here's a squirtle plushie that i won from uh toreva it's pretty big look how big it is I like it. <laughs> I'm pretty lucky. Let me just wait. Pull him out of the wrap. <laughs> it, it's straight from Japan. It has like the Jap Japanese like a uh, tag and everything. It says, "Uh, pull." What does it say? Poke, poke, to monster. Uh. Mecha Mofugute. Mecha Mofugute. I don't know what. Is that like po Squirtle's Japanese name? <laughs> you want that one for my bed? Cubone with that size would be perfect. Oh, you like Cubone? Is Cubone your favorite book? You might forget. But yeah. Like if one day maybe uh, Toreba will get Cubone. But then, unfortunately, Cubone suffers the same fate as Krabby. Where it's not like a lot of people's favorite Pokemons. So usually you don't get like merch of them, you know? Like Krabby, I got really lucky that they had it in the, the Poke Center. Like if they had a bigger one, of course I would have bought the bigger one. But this was the only Krabby that I had. Or like the only Krabby they had. I'm going to put the squirrel in the, way, in the very back. <laughs> There's Krabby too. You know what's cool though? Like, I think Krabby, usually they have like, there's a lot of different size variations for Krabby, right? Like, in the show, I remember Ash, I think Ash caught like his own Krabby and it's tiny. And then, uh, I think uh, Gary caught a, another, ca like a Krabby as well. But his was huge. <laughs> I have, a, I have a small Krabby. It's like a lot smaller than the Squirtle. But it's Krabby. There's a lot of Krabbies out there. But this one is mine. My specific Krabby. Okay, so this guy. The head has like a horn that you can attach to. Wait, hold on. See if it, is it, how does it go on? It's supposed to attach like this? Is that right? Done. 
this right? Yeah, it's weird. Okay, so I, I connected the thingy, but it's kind of bent. It's crooked. <laughs> I don't know if um, it's a defect. And it doesn't fit very snugly. I don't know if this is like wrong. What is going on? In the picture, it looks like the horn thing at the top is supposed to stick out a little more. This, maybe, but you know what? Let's just build it first and see if see if it looks right. All right, so the head slash um, thorax gets to you get to put the front legs on it. <laughs> okay, which one is this? Left leg. Okay, I'm gonna put the left leg on first. Right. In there. Okay. Oh, this leg is huge. <laughs> this leg is huge, yo. All right, right leg. I also have to add the the feelers as well feelers in its face and those things are tiny so it's kind of hard to <laughs> kind of hard to fit in there but get ha 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 ho 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 nice nice this one's good all right feelers <laughs> Is there like a right side or left side? I can't really tell. I think this one I'm looking at... It's very small. I think this one's the left side feeler, I'm thinking. Okay, I'm gonna get it. Be a little defect from fabric? It could be. Or it could be like, because it's been in the, the capsule for so long, you know? I was in Japan like how long ago? Like a couple months ago, and it's just been in the gacha capsule for so long that it deformed in there. I put the feeler on. <laughs> All right, last bit. Let's go. Let's go. Gross! All right, let's add the body to the head, or the head to the body. Yeah. Oh. So there is a ball joint back in there. I'm guessing goes into body to the hole. Okay, it's in. Nice. This one has really cool, like the front legs are like claws almost. They have little pincher stuff. I like it. Okay. So there is our, our second Kabutomushi. <laughs> the horn's a little bit bent, but you know, it's I think I like the first one better. It's bigger. The first one is definitely a lot bigger. Funkier. Like... That's what they do. They fight each other. I think there's a game called um, Kabutomushi in Japan where basically it's like Pokemon except you don't catch Pokemons. You catch these rhinoceros beetles and stag beetles and stuff. 
and they fight each other. So we have one more um, beetle gachapon, but we'll open this next time. <laughs> next stream at the end of the stream. But there's uh, two figures that I do want to unbox right now. Oh, give me a second. Oh, oh. Get it. Evil shiny Fue Coco came to poke your face. Yo, I remember you now. I remember you. You always poke in my face. Looks like they're giving each other a hug to me. They're <laughs> they're killing each other right now. It's violence. <laughs> you can you can think whatever you want. <laughs> they are lovely, lovely, lovely lovebirds. They're just you know playing. <laughs> okay, so. I want to unbox today this figure. This one is Suise from Hololive. It's relaxed time. I actually won this figure from uh, in Japan in one of the UFO catchers. I think I talked about it before. I probably mentioned it a lot. I like, you know, it. Re it's when I won this figure. Okay, I was I was at a UFO catcher place. I wasn't planning on playing, but I was watching this one person was really into he was really getting into it um <laughs> you know he was singing uh suisse's um stellar stellar and trying to you know to to give himself the good luck to to win the figure and the the tenyin son right the the one of the employees at the ufo catcher place was there watching as well because sometimes right like when you play when you're playing ufo catchers in japan and you spend a lot of money and you don't win the staff comes over and they help you out. Like they move the prize so that um, like you can just like barely tap it and then you'll win. Okay. So it's very fair. I mean, it's not that fair because like, you know, you can actually buy these figures in Japan for like a thousand yen. A thousand to like 1500 yen. That's like around $10, right? It's not that expensive. But in uh, when you're playing it in the UFO catcher, you can sometimes win the, the figure in like five tries, like in with 500 yen, like, you know, less than $5. Sometimes it takes you 30 tries, like 30, 3,000 yen, which is, you know, about $25. So it, depending on how good you are in the UFO catcher, you can either save money or spend more money. But it's all about how, like, you know, it's all about the fun in the end. So um, the guy that I was watching, I, he spent a lot of money trying to win this figurine. This exact very figurine you see right here. Um, but then the, the staff guy won't help him out. Like he was on his knees and begging the staff, please just give me that um, the, the God hand help, you know? But the staff was like, you know, <laughs> you're so close, you know? You'll win it in like two tries. But then, you know, the staff won't give in and the guy, he just gave up and he left, okay? And then the staff, I, I think he was trying to reset it, reset the prize to its original position. But then I was just standing there watching, right? So he was like, do you want to try it? It's almost, it's almost done, right? So I was like, okay, I'll try it. And the way this prize is, um, was set up was like, there was this, okay, hold on. I think I, I still, there was this ring that sticks out at the top. Like it's stuck to the, the um, what is it? The box itself. You're supposed to get the crane. Put it in the hole and like drag it towards like downhill towards the the prize box but like as it goes downhill like keeps going downhill um because it's further away from the crane um there's less you know power that gets affected by it you know what i mean but um for me like i just like instead of going for the hole i just like targeted the box and like pushed it down and just like the ten yin san said it, it only took like three tries to win it. So I, I spent, I got really lucky there, you know. Uh, kind of lucky that the guy gave up <laughs> when he was so close to winning. He spent all that money trying to win. And I'm, I'm sorry, that guy was like a true Hoshimachi, you know. He, he sacrificed 
is yens for a good cause. Um, you don't you don't have to think about it being wasted. You just like spend the money. Uh, you know, it it went to Hollow Live. All right, <laughs> I guess he ran out of yen. Yeah, like I mean, he didn't seem he wasn't like an old guy. You know, he was like maybe like a high school student or like a college student, and he just basically emptied his wallet. And he left, unfortunately. So this is Suisse. This one is Mel. And I don't know if you've heard, but Mel got terminated from Hololive, unfortunately. Like she was she was one of my favorites. Like, you know, all JP members, I really do like them all, but I don't know. It was a, Mel was very interesting. She was a very interesting character. I liked her. But, um, you know, at least at least they kind of ended in good terms. It's not like there's some lawsuit going on, unlike, you know, a certain other company. But anyways, um, this character, uh, I, I won her from uh, Crane Game as well. But I it took me like, <laughs> it took me 2,900 yen until the staff helped me out and put it in like a be better winning position. So it took me like exactly 3,000 yen, like a little less, about $25 to win this figure. So uh, both of these figures I, I got for about what, like a little less than 3,000 yen, a little less than 30 bucks. So I think it was, I mean, you know, it's not bad. It wasn't a bad deal. But, um... This figure, Mel, was, um, I didn't have experience with UFO catchers when I first played this. So I was just wasting money. And then after, after this whole ordeal with Mel, after spending 3,000 yen trying to get her, I was watching like a whole bunch of YouTube videos <laughs> to learn from the Japanese senpais who actually, you know, put in the ex effort and experimentation to find out all the angles and all the positionings for winning. Got my trusty X-Acto knife. Let's open this stuff up. So there's one thing I'm afraid of. This figure has been in the box for, for a long time. And I want to see if there's mold growing on it. Because my room does get pretty humid sometimes. Because I do have an aquarium. <laughs> so let's see if it's good i think it if you know i think figures get moldy if they're in the box for like too long um and too long as in like a few years you know but this one's been in the okay there's some more box there's some more tape this one has been in the box for a few months hasn't quite been a year yet Oy. This thing was sealed properly. The air inside this box is from Japan, you guys. <laughs> okay, so let's see how price figures are packaged. Some cardboard. <laughs> it's not the most fan it's not the fanciest, you know, there's some visible tape on it. it looks very half-assed. It is what it is. Some more tape. You can see a little foot sticking out. That's Suisei's foot. Okay, let's see this. Let me cut the tape again. Some more tape here. All right, so I'm just cutting the tape. Okay. And she's wrapped up. Wait. Oh, you have to assemble it. It doesn't come in all one piece. That's interesting. All right, I'm gonna put this box away first. Let's see if there's mold. So apparently, right, these figures are coated with some kind of um. They're coated with some kind of coating that evaporates. All right. So usually, when you unbox it and leave them in your shelf or something, they're the evaporated things. Uh, go into the atmosphere, right? Goes into the air. But when it's inside the box and it's sealed like this, there's nowhere for the evaporated things to go. 
So it goes back inside to the figurines and like they either get moldy or they get, what is it? Sticky or something. But so far, I can't really tell if it's sticky or not, but looks fine to me. Doesn't look moldy at all. All right, let's take out the torso, see what it looks like. Looks pretty nice. For a prize figure, you know, it looks pretty nice. I'm looking at it, I don't see any... Here's the thing with prize figures, like you can really see the, the seams where like the joints connected, right? Like they, they hit it pretty well because like typically in clothes, there would be a seam here. Here, you don't see it as much, but it's there, you know? But this side, you can really see that that this part is like a separate piece that you connected, like the arm. But, you know, I'm gonna display it like her looking this way anyway, so it's not bad. Alright, let's get the legs out. It's been so long, these figures have been trapped inside their boxes for so long. Came to bonk people? You're gonna bonk us? We're just unboxing figurines. We're being weebs. Don't punish us for being weebs. Here's the legs. The butt is very flat because this figure is meant to be sitting down on the ground. Um, toes look like they're all there. Five toes on each leg. <laughs> Five toes on each leg. Looks about right. I mean, they're legs. What more can you ask for, okay? But connect it. Cute, look at it. <laughs> All right. There she is. <laughs> That's Sui Se. She does look, she does look really good. But I do, I do remember um, Suisei actually saying something about this um, specific figurine. She says that the bust size is too big. Um, apparently, uh, when they were planning uh, to, you know, launch this figurine, they did show her the the concept and like the pre, what is it, the concept model and everything. But I guess she says she overlooked the fact that her, you know, her bust is too big. I'm great. I'm getting Mel out, okay? I don't I don't want to damage the box cuz the boxes do look nice too. I think I'm going to display the boxes in inside my shelf as well. <laughs> Oh man, trying to opening this box without damaging it is kind of it's hard. No, oh, it's ripping. <laughs> Do I need chopsticks? Lucky for me, I have this um this earwax cleaner. <laughs> that I go to. So it did rip a little bit on this side, but eh, it's negligible. And it's just a prize figure anyway. Behind every figure. Yeah. So like, so I have the bookshelves, right? Maybe I'll have like this side facing towards the figure or maybe this side and just have the figure on, in front of it, you know? Instead of having just like a bare white background, maybe have the boxes there as well. So they do look nice. I actually have my figures um displayed uh at the moment. Like with the these whole boxes are just in there, you know? Just like kind of like a bookshelf, but not books. But you know, 
these figure boxes. It looks pretty nice, to be honest. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some experimenting with how to display them. And then I'll show you guys what my current bookshelf looks like once once I get this figured out, once I get it sorted. Okay, this one... <laughs> cardboard box just slid out and Mel is still inside. She's still chilling in the box. Oh! <laughs> I got freaked out. I saw a whole bunch of skin just now. Right? Stealth back. One second. Preserving box. Okay, so Mel has a separate head. And she has a torso and she has her legs. The legs are just basically just a whole bunch of skin. That's why. That was like a naked leg. Eey. Eey. So these two figures, I did win from Japan, but like I have a couple more Hollow Life Relax Time figures from this from this brand that I won from Toreba. So I have Kalayapi Mori. I have Akai Hato. Oh wait! Wait, I have one more figure that I got from Japan actually. Why didn't I bring her out? Maybe I'll unbox her next time though. We'll, um, we'll finish up with Mel today. I still have Yukihana Lamy as well. She, I did get her from Japan. You know, I if I had the chance, if I saw all the other characters, like I know there's Fubuki, there's Mio, and I think Okayu as well. But like... When I was playing this, uh, when I was playing the UFO Catchers to win, um, I didn't see Fu Fubuki at all, you know? Like, I saw everybody when I was in Tokyo, but I started really playing seriously when I was in, like, Kyoto and Osaka, but the UFO Catcher places there only had Suisei. Like, all the UFO Catchers that had Hollow Life figures was all Suisei. There was one machine in the whole city of Osaka that I've explored that had Mel. And there was like an underground like cafe where people were smoking and stuff. That's where, that's where the, like there, there was one UFO catcher machine with Yukihana Lamy in it. There it is. See, it was a Squirtle figure and one away. No! <laughs> that's mine! <laughs> it's one of my, I think the Squirtle figure is one of my most favorite figures, like prizes that I won from Toreba, just because how big it is. Uh. Oh wow, she has her back tat. Wait, is that a tattoo or is that? Is this like a tattoo? Man, why did you have to get terminated, Mel? Get her. She looks so good. Any mold? I don't see any mold. <laughs> I was smelling it. it. Smells like plastic. Hmm. It's not. It's not like artificial plastic. It smells very organic. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Okay. The legs. Let's put the legs in. Okay. What the heck? Bit is kind of weird. Hello? Um, this this thing is kind of angled weird. Get, get it, get in there. What? What's going on? Um, <laughs> having some difficulties installing the legs. Oh, I think it's in. I think it can go in a little more. 
I don't want to like damage the, the delicate little hair pieces because these things are very small and they're all one piece. I'm trying to like get a good handle on stuff. Okay, this thing, it can go in a little more. Come on. <sighs> I want this to be flush. Oh, I think that's good. I think it's good. Nice. Well, now that Mel is gone from YouTube, you know, at least we have this figurine to remember her by. Oh, why is it so bright? Wait, hold on. Can I? Adjust this thing. Maybe it's too bright. Uh, configure video. Give me one second. Um, brightness. Decrease it. Is that good? Maybe that looks a little better. Maybe. Oh. Contrast. Uh Huh I think this is fine <laughs> What I need is a longer cable for my Kio camera Okay So that's the unboxing for today Do I have anything else I want to take out Anything else I want to open I have this I got this thing from Akihabara um, I showed you guys last time, but like, it's a weird, like, it's from, she's a, what, Kanroji Mitsuri, I think her name is, from Demon Slayer. So this thing is basically like a, like a cable protector. So if you imagine this, um, this square thingy is a phone, right? The end of a phone. And like the, we, you plug the charger in, right? You're supposed to put her kind of like on the cradling the, the charger so that it doesn't kink. It's kind of weird, but it's a good idea. Wow. <laughs> I'll open it. Wait, you know, I'll just open it right now. E. So this is just the little sample phone thing. And <laughs> there's Mitsuri <laughs> Kanryuji. It's good. Demon Slayer Mitsuri. Yeah, it's cute. So wait, let me, do I have like an example? Cable? All right. So this, let's say this is a cable. All right. You basically slide the cable in through here, I think. Yeah, it, it opens up slightly. It's not completely stiff. So I think I can get this in there. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's in. So, <laughs> like that. <laughs> and then you plug it into your device and it prevents the, the wire from getting kinked. Unfortunately, if you have like an L, kind of L-shaped uh, charger or whatever, it's not gonna work, obviously. But, hey, it's a thing, you know? <laughs> I don't think you don't really see these kind of things in the states, but <laughs> yeah, Japan, baby, it's pretty cool. The mango is great. Yeah, I liked I like Demon Slayer. You know, I haven't I haven't enjoyed too much anime lately, to be honest. Um, but Demon Slayer, uh, the first season at least was actually I I did enjoy it a lot. I didn't read the manga, but um, yeah, I liked it a lot. I did hear spoilers and. When I heard the spoilers about what happens to the Hashiras, you know, I kind of... <laughs> I don't know. The Hashiras were like my favorite characters, okay? And yeah, I heard some bad things happen, but you know, we're gonna have to see. Is, is Demon Slayer over? Is it is it still ongoing, like the manga? Or is it new season on May 12th? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, I'll check it out. You know? Uh, lately though, what, what kind of anime do you guys watch? Have you seen any good animes? 
Is there some promising new animes that I saw like last week? I think um, it, there's one called like Train to the End of the World. The art looks really good. Like the background art is like super, you know, very, very colorful and detailed. Like it's almost, it's almost like I'm watching a movie, you know, like, cause like movie animes is like, they have extra detail to like the backgrounds, right? The train to the middle of nowhere. They have some really nice detailed backgrounds. I thought it was pretty impressive. And Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen is pretty fun too. Yeah, I'm keeping up with that. Um, what else is there? There's a there's a couple good animes that appeared this season. There's that one. Um, <laughs> there's one about an orc reborn as a monster or something like that. But I mean, it's not good. Like the quality's not good, but like the premise is, I guess, is not bad. It's kind of like uh. You know, that slime one, the, the reincarnated as a slime, except he's not a slime, he's reincarnated as an orc or an ogre or a goblin or whatever it's called. <laughs> yes, they're different. The goblin evolves into an orc and the orc evolves into an ogre. So technically, yeah. Oh, there's some stickers that I got too from Kyoto. Here's a Kingler sticker from Poke Center. He's a Krabby sticker and. A Gengar sticker because why not? That's it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Was there anything else I wanted to talk about? Ah, back tomorrow. I'll see you guys. I think I'm going to stream again tomorrow. Either tomorrow or like really early. Uh, maybe like because I'm gonna go to bed after the stream, take a shower, go to bed, and when I wake up, I might stream. I might do like a Grand Theft Auto roleplay stream and check it out. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you like the new setup. I don't know if you noticed, but our background is a lot more brighter now. And there's a lot of, um, you know, like extra effects going on, like the rays and the, the bokeh effect. Uh, you still see the butt in the background, but as you can see, he's glowing a little bit, you know? Everything's just brighter now. So that's good. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Worlds can be one together, cosmos without hatred. Stars like diamonds in your eyes. The grounds can be space, 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 space. With feet marching towards a peaceful sky. All the moon and blood things their way. But we make sure they see the sun. Yeah, goodbye, moon man. Oh, goodbye. goodbye. Shut the fuck up about the moon men! <laughs>